Hi everyone, it's Miss Martin and we are going over balances. So the first balance we have is our analytical balance and the second one is our tabletop balance. Um, so in order to use this analytical balance, um, we have, well first things first, we want to make sure that it is um, balanced. So we have this little bubble thing and it is calibrated currently. If it is not and it is off center, please come get one of us and we will help you fix it and or fix it ourselves for you. Um, and we have this tabletop one that does not, it just hangs out here and this is what it looks like. One of the things you want to know when measuring and using this is that we want to keep the doors closed. We have these cool little doors that sometimes stick like so because I can't get this side open. So this is how you place your things that you would like to balance out. You want to make sure it's closed when you are balancing because this fluctuates. If you press on the table, it also fluctuates. So when you are weighing out your some sort of, for example, salt, whoops, you want to make sure the doors are closed and you want to make sure that you are not leaning on the table because that will make the measurement calculation measurement, not calculation that you get totally off. Um, same thing, this has a cool little bubble that you would like to keep closed when you are measuring. And sometimes you're measuring something too big, that's okay if it doesn't close. But try to use it if you can. Great. So in order to use this, we are going to attempt to open. For this example, I'm going to be using a weigh boat. You see this? You will not just stick solids on the balance. That's a no. You might make a mess, that's okay. Um, please clean it up. We have these chem wipes and maybe brushes that will help. So what we are going to do is we will place this cool little weigh boat and we will close the doors. So now we see that this is 2.1889 grams. We don't want this in our measurement when we are weighing out samples. So we have a thing that's called tearing and what you do is you push tear. Ta-da! So now it's zeroed out with this on it. So when you go to weigh out some sodium chloride, you leave that on there. You will open up one or both of the doors, whichever technique you like. I kind of do it this way. If, um, I guess this way. I try to carefully do it this way. So I'm not making a mess all over the tables, but you will just drop in your sample and you want to do it slowly. I don't have a set number I'm going for, so let's go for 0 0.3 grams. So you just want to, so I am at potentially point, or 0 0.3 grams. Close it and see how it fluctuates. We want to let it sit and kind of figure out what it's doing with the doors closed and it looks like it is stopping at 0 0.306 grams. So when you're weighing it out, just make sure you get to the closest number of whatever um, we are trying to weigh out. So if you are weighing out one gram of sodium chloride, try to get it as close to one gram. Don't get it that like 1.536 grams. That's a lot over that we don't want. So we can then Say that is our measurement. We will write it down in our lab notebooks. Great. We can open it, grab this out, and then we pour it wherever we would like to pour it in our lab experiment. Wipe anything off. If I got salt in here, just wipe it down, close, close, and it is ready for the next student to use. Now, moving on to this guy. Same sort of deal. Uh, for this example, I will be using these whey papers. Um, I actually have one out. They are flat, like so. So when you are transferring solids on this with a whey paper, it's really hard to pick up and um, just kind of move it wherever. So what I recommend doing is folding your whey paper so it kind of makes a boat. You can just fold one way and fold another way. So you make a little triangle. 
what this does is when you open it, it kind of makes a way for you to build the um, solid that you want. So it's not like slipping all over the place and when you grab it, you can kind of pick it up and carry it like this instead of it flying off the sides of a flat piece of white paper. So same thing, obviously the way paper has weight, we can close it for this example and then we want to zero or tear it so it doesn't have any weight. Great, now it's zeroed, not counting the way paper. It might fluctuate because of air and stuff or me pushing on the table, which is a no. So, and just slowly drop. We'll go for 0.6. I'm a little bit over on that, but 0 0.639 potentially. Let's close it, see what happens. So 0 0.64, I'm a little bit over, but that would be the weight that you write down in your lab journal.